Yeah, Mike, Wendy, you would never think of this. I played soccer since I was five years old, never even thought about this happening to myself or anyone else, but it's true. It's happening. Kids in Pittsburgh have been injured. Kids in other states have been killed. Come to find out a River Hounds player himself also injured. Now he wants to warn parents, coaches, and kids about this. Green Tree native Anthony Vergara is a defender for the Pittsburgh River Hounds, a professional soccer player who lives for the field. But it was on the field that he nearly lost his life 15 years ago when a goal suddenly tumbled over. Hit my cheek like against the ground like that, knocked out three teeth, cracked through my mouth, and I have two root canals because of that. Vergara was just 10 years old. My dad like was driving, rushing me to the hospital. I, was, I had my head out the window, just spitting blood the whole way there, and. Uh, yeah, I was crying the whole way. It was, it was pretty painful. Little did he know that he's one of more than 100 kids and adults to be seriously injured by falling soccer goals since 1979. 39 people have been killed. But it can all be prevented by anchoring goals to the ground so they don't tip from wind or someone hanging on the crossbar. However, our investigation found goal after goal after goal, all unanchored across western Pennsylvania, in Allegheny, and the five surrounding counties on youth, high school, even a college field. And we have some goals that are as heavy as 500 pounds. You can imagine that coming down on a kid. Dr. Terry Aguilge is director of coaching and player development for PA West Soccer. That's huge numbers. That's a huge number of kids to lose for what we could uh, easily prevent. Aguilje says it's all about awareness. Still, while most goals come with anchors, be it laziness or lack of awareness, they're often unused, and the consequences can be deadly. If it hadn't happened to me, I might not ever look at it. Now, Anthony Vergara, he had to have oral surgery, missed three weeks of school whenever that goal fell on him. Certainly a lot of danger there. For a complete list of all the goals that we found unanchored in western Pennsylvania, we'll have that posted tonight on WTAE.com. Reporting live from Station Square, Highmark Stadium, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.